Hi Nishant Patel, uh, I am Rakesh Iqbal from Come On Let's Learn. First of all, welcome yeah. on Come On Let's Learn. I am going to take the interview experience of Nishant Patel who have selected for IMS in Scorpio Tankers. Right Nishant? Yes, um, thank you very much for allowing me to introduce myself okay. Rakesh. So please give me a brief introduction about yourself. Okay. Hello, I am uh, Nishant Patil. I am from a small town of Karjat from Maharashtra. I have completed my bachelor in mechanical engineering from Maharashtra as well. I have done my schooling in Maharashtra. Coming to my family, I have uh, my parents who both are in teaching field. I have a younger brother who is in 10th standard. My interests are in skating, writing as well as reading and I also like to play cricket in my free time. And that's pretty much about me. Okay. So what all are the questions you have faced in your interview? <clears throat> so questions that i faced in the interview were uh, they were not there was a good mix of non-technical questions as well as the technical questions so basically they started uh, off by asking me about my uh, my family background i mean from where i'm from uh, what do my parents do uh, do i have a brother or sister, younger brother or sisters as any siblings so what do they do i answered them uh, straightforward i mean whatever that they do so first i that answered i'm from karjit then I told me, they, they asked me which college did you go to. Then they asked about my profession of my, both my parents. So I told them that both of my parents are in teaching field. So one thing, one question, the one cross question that they asked me was, why do you want to join Merchant Navy? I mean, yeah. if when your parents are working in teaching field, then why do you want to specifically join Merchant Navy? Okay, so what did you so, answer about that? So I answered them that, uh, uh, me about this field was that as I'm a mechanical engineer, I like I like to work with machines, and uh, current in the current scenario for the specifically just for mechanical engineers, the job market is really low. You are not getting jobs very easily, and you are not able to work on this. You have to work on some other field. You have to go into IT sector or you have to do other jobs. So I told them that this is where I can work specifically on machines, yeah. on the area that interests me. And I'm very passionate and also the life is really great. I mean, uh, this life, all, I mean, what Merchant Navy will give you for your life, it's very great. It's a very nice experience that you are going to get. So that's what I answered them. Okay. So uh, what all are the that uh, technical questions? Yes. After that, they asked me about my curriculum. I mean, what subjects did I have in my final semester? Okay. And after that, I answered them that I had uh, all the subject names uh, like smart materials, environmental management. So they picked it off because environmental management was our uh, institute level optional course. So they asked me about why do you need environmental management in engineering curriculum? Because it's very basic level. So I answered them that we are engineers. So we are working. We are not simply working. We are constantly working. We generate waste. We do. In fact, uh, we are also a cause of pollution as well. Because we work in an environment where we are, uh, you know, unwillingly. I mean, we are not. I'm not saying that we are willingly creating pollution. We are cre uh, willingly do, uh, creating pollution, but in some way or other, we are polluting the environment, which is very harmful to us. Yeah. So that's what I answered to them. And then afterwards, they asked me, "What can I do for cleaner fuel?" So as uh, so, I told them about that. Recently, I had uh, read some on social media that I read a post. That Mr. Nitin Gadkari, our transportation minister, told has said that I want ethanol as a fuel. Okay. So they asked me how to generate ethanol. So I tried to remember. Then I told them from the you can. Uh, I tried to remember something, but I after at the end I told that I do know that you can use sugar canes as a bio bio material as a raw material for ethanol production, but I don't know the exact process of generating. Okay. So they laughed it off actually. They, they thought it was a they, they thought it was a good answer because. I was in a spot actually at the time. Yes, that was a pretty answer. Yeah. So afterwards, they moved on to my uh, they moved on to my technical part. So first, they asked me electrical question that is Faraday's law. So I told them about the Faraday's law, but I didn't use the term magnetic flux so, in my answer because I answered very basic in a very basic terms like a uh, like a twelfth grader. Okay. I did not use the term magnetic flux particularly. So the sir, the, I don't know the name of the sir was sitting in front of me, but he corrected me by using the term magnetic flux. Okay. So I said, yes, sir. So I replied, yes, yeah, sorry, sir. Then I repeated my definition once again, but that time I used magnetic flux. Okay. The word. Afterwards, they moved on to IC engines. Yeah. Then they asked me for power generation, uh, what engines do you use on ship? So I said, uh, an auxiliary engine mostly, that is a four-stroke engine. 
Yeah. And then they asked me why only why only this four stroke engine? Why not two stroke? Then they asked me about two stroke engine or actually. So uh, they asked me about the scavenging uh, scavenging part, as well as then they asked me about turbocharger. So turbocharger I could not explain them the way they wanted. Okay. And afterwards, then they asked me about uh, number of cams in a four stroke engine. Oh, so what did you answer for that? How many cams? Number of there? number of cams I actually answered three cams I answered. Okay. So they, so they, uh, they actually they thought for they looked at me for a bit, and after actually I got really nervous over there, and then uh, they said really nice to meet you, and then they asked me to uh, go because uh, actually it was very late when my interview happened, because I went in at about uh, it was just five minutes to four, and I left at four fifteen, I came out four at four fifteen, okay. it was actually at the end of the day. Okay, okay. So it was just a twenty minutes a short interview. Yes, sir. very short interview. So, is it a panel interview like? Uh, yes, yes, panel interview. The complete panel was sitting there. At uh, on my left, there were uh, the sir from the K line. Uh, my friend, the sir from Scorpio, was sitting. But at the right, uh, I guess at the right, the director was sitting. Or director of the institute was sitting. And to my very extreme left, uh, I think Kamar sir was sitting there. Oh, okay. So, what all are the uh, strategies that you have used for your written purposes? I, for my written exams yeah yeah uh, okay so for my written exam i just started preparing from dreamers package i didn't use anything else okay. but uh, at first when i uh, so first my first exam that i appeared for uh, gm was for the anglo eastern so during that i pretty much got the idea i mean how you have to prepare oh, okay so i started off from the dreamers package and at the very end of the dreamers package then i uh, moved on to exam with us I and mean, on the let's learn group uh, the whatsapp group many students are talking about it so i started uh, going through and to be frank i literally went through exam entire exam with us for a few topics for example thermodynamics ic engines okay. and boilers every question set and every uh, every page of the exam with us side so your hard work pays off bro Yes, yes, and I, I literally I like to say this this way because I, I always whenever I had any doubt I always contacted uh, Mr. Ashish Ashish Dayanand. You must be knowing him. Ashish Dayanand is there. Yeah. Yes, he is a really wonderful guy and he really helped me a lot. I mean, his guidance has actually he, very he very much helped me. He helped a lot for my so many guys. Yes, for entrance part, his help was the most valuable to me. At I must say because during my entrance when I was preparing for the written exams. He often sent me some notes, notes PDF that he has prepared for of uh, generally that you find on the drive, because it was actually taking him uh, some more time to upload directly on the group. So you, he directly forwarded me the link as well as, so I it was really helpful to me. I mean, I got to study from it, and I also prepared my own notes, just like Pranit sir says during his lectures to prepare your own notes while yeah. preparing. That so whenever I sit for studying, I always carry some a blank sheets with me, pen, pencil, and a pad. So whatever I have, I prepare it more and more. Yeah. That's how I started. Okay. So you are just referring the that dreamer package and the exam beta. And yes, exam beta, and I also have uh, one or two gate uh, textbooks that I use during uh, studies. So that's what I use. Just that much. So okay, it was a nice interview experience, Nishad Patel. Thank you for your time and all the best for your future. Thank you very much, Rakesh. Thank you so much.